So I wanted to take the chance to demo some of the things I use to stay organized. I build things to help me think, manage my anxiety, and to manage my affairs. And this is probably the most important of those things. This is Whiteboard. Whiteboard's built on WordPress, and I built it back in 2015 and have been making slow improvements to it since. The idea was, I'm bad at bullet journaling, but I understand the notion of it and it seems organizationally useful. So can I build a website that does my bullet journaling for me? And the answer is yes. The goal today is just to do a brief tour and show you some of the nuts and bolts of what make it work. I might dig into the specifics in a future video. So this is my front page and it's got my bullet index like any good bullet journal does, uh, my future log, my habit tracker, my daily logs, which are a post I spin up every month, and it has my collections. It's worth noting this list is all dynamically built. I don't manually put anything in here. So when I create a new recipe, I add it to a category and it goes into this list here, right? Lunch and dinner. And because this is a collection, it automatically is populated in this list. I use categories to manage essentially everything here. And what it does is dynamically build these lists for me. That includes these sidebars. So you can see, I got some notes on relationships, things that I've got going on, therapy stuff, my daily log, projects I'm working on. Here's the note where I wrote this video. My journal, frequently used links, and then a category index. Now this, this is my next important post. This is my notepad. This is just a scratch pad that I use for anything and everything. Here's a bunch of plans I was doing in XCOM 2 that I'm no longer doing. Uh, a whole bunch of recipes I want to try, stuff I want to look at, things that I might buy that I like did the legwork for. Nonsense, all kinds of nonsense. And then we get into my actual journal. Now I maintain a couple of different journals. I have one for D&D. I have one for work. Uh, and I also have one that I've been experimenting with called my photographic memory, which indexes pictures I take on my phone. In addition to that, Whiteboard stores my wiki. I started keeping a wiki back in grad school in 2011, and I found it a really useful way to manage research, and it's become a really useful way to manage life. So here I've got my SOPs, notes I have on video games, projects that I'm working on, things I want to learn or how I'm collecting information on learning them, and specific how-tos that I've written myself. This is documentation on how to design the specific thing that I want. The best part about Whiteboard is that it is searchable. So if I want to find my recipe for stuffed pepper soup, I can search for it. There's my stuffed pepper soup post, where I got the original link, the ingredients that I use, the recipe that I use, and a picture of what it looks like when it's done. It looks like a mess, but it, like all soups do, but it's delicious. So let's take a look at the nuts and bolts and see what makes it work. These are my plugins. I have a lot of messy ones because I like experimenting and I don't use them all or I don't use them all the way that I should. But the big important ones are privacy. So I have one that makes my site private and one that disables the RSS feeds. It's worth noting that almost all security is defeatable. So be mindful of what you put in this and I am. Uh, I have a table of contents builder uh, to make long posts easy to manage. The biggest and most important one is this list category posts. I installed this plugin forever ago and that's what I use to dynamically generate all of those lists. The other and most important thing, database backup. If something goes wrong with Whiteboard, the database backup gets emailed somewhere else every day, just in case, so that if something goes wrong, and it has, I can restore it. So that's whiteboard. It keeps me organized and it gives me something to work on when I feel like I'm not organized. And I write all my videos here. I manage a bunch of home projects here. It's worth noting that I don't do any work stuff here beyond anonymous journal musings, but it's also a one-stop shop for any information that I want to hold on to. And I do transfer my notes that I make in my real physical notebook every month into Whiteboard at the end of the month. 
I am curious to see what you use. And I would look forward to seeing it in the comments. In the meantime, stay safe. Stay awesome.